Abraham Lincoln, born in a humble log cabin, was no stranger to loss from an early age. The young boy's world was shattered when his mother, Nancy Hanks Lincoln, passed away when he was just nine years old. The loss of his mother, his primary caregiver, and a beacon of warmth in his life, left a profound impact on his young heart. This early tragedy, the first of many, would become a defining moment in his life, marking the beginning of a life filled with personal loss. The shadows of death didn't leave Lincoln with the loss of his mother. The specter of mortality continued to haunt him as he lost his only brother in infancy, a loss that left a baby-sized void in the Lincoln family. Moreover, the death of his elder sister Sarah in childbirth further deepened his acquaintance with grief. These tragedies, happening at such a young age, undeniably etched a somber hue onto the canvas of Lincoln's life. The death of his siblings added to the somber palette of Lincoln's early life. A young Abraham Lincoln found love in Ann Rutledge, but tragedy was not far behind. This young woman captured Lincoln's heart in his early years in New Salem, Illinois. Speculations abound about their relationship, with some historians suggesting they were engaged to be married. However, Rutledge's untimely death at the age of 22, likely from typhoid fever, left Lincoln heartbroken. This personal loss, coupled with the weight of his public responsibilities, added another layer of sorrow to Lincoln's life. Abraham Lincoln was not just a man of sorrow but a man acquainted with melancholy. Lincoln's struggle with what we now call depression is a lesser-known facet of his life, yet it was a constant companion. His bouts of melancholy were more than fleeting sadness. They were deep, dark periods that cast long shadows over his life and work. Some of his closest friends and colleagues noted his tendency to lapse into periods of profound sadness, even during his presidency. Yet, rather than being a hindrance many historians believe this melancholy shaped Lincoln's character and worldview. It gave him a deep empathy for the suffering of others and a profound understanding of human frailty. His melancholy was his cross to bear, but it also gave him the depth and resilience to navigate the turbulent waters of his time. Lincoln's melancholy, a shadow that followed him throughout his life, was a source of both anguish and profound insight. Not all of Lincoln's endeavors met with success. In his early years Lincoln tried his hand at several businesses including a general store in New Salem, Illinois. Unfortunately these ventures proved unsuccessful, leaving him with a significant debt that took years to repay. This period of his life, often referred to as his 10 years of failure, was a time of learning and growth. Despite the setbacks, Lincoln remained undeterred. These business failures however, did not deter him from his path. In politics too, Lincoln faced defeat, his early political journey was fraught with challenges. In the 1830s, Lincoln twice failed to secure a seat in the United States Congress, and later, in the 1850s, his bid for a Senate seat ended in disappointment. These defeats however didn't break him, instead, they molded him, sharpened his political acumen, and steeled his resolve. Despite these defeats, Lincoln remained undeterred, his resolve only strengthened. Marriage brought Lincoln companionship, but it also brought new challenges. One of the most significant was Mary Todd Lincoln's mental health struggles. Mary Todd, a woman of intelligence and ambition, was also prone to severe mood swings and bouts of depression. These symptoms were possibly exacerbated by the immense stress of the Civil War and the loss of her sons. Her erratic behavior and lavish spending sprees often caused tension in their marriage, yet Lincoln's response was one of understanding and patience. He recognized her mental health issues as an illness, a remarkably progressive view for the mid-19th century. The strain of Mary's condition was evident, but Lincoln remained committed to supporting his wife. He was often seen comforting her during her episodes, showing an empathetic side to the stoic president we often imagine. Despite these struggles, Lincoln remained a supportive husband, demonstrating that even amidst personal turmoil, he maintained his compassion and understanding. The specter of death returned to haunt Lincoln in the form of his sons. A chilling reminder of the fragility of life, Abraham Lincoln bore the heartbreaking burden of losing not one but three of his sons. Edward, the second son of Abraham and Mary Todd Lincoln, succumbed to tuberculosis at the tender age of four. The loss was a profound blow to the Lincoln family, but the specter of death was not yet done. Willie, the third son, passed away in the White House itself, a victim of typhoid fever. He was just 11. The death plunged Lincoln into deep sorrow, his grief palpable to all around him. And then the unthinkable happened. Tad the youngest died at the age of 18, just six years after his father's assassination. 
The Lincoln family was again enveloped in the mourning shroud. The loss of his sons was a blow that deeply affected Lincoln. A testament to the personal tragedies that shadowed his monumental legacy. As president, Lincoln carried the weight of a nation divided. The Civil War was not just a political or military challenge, but a personal ordeal for him. Imagine the magnitude of the responsibility, the crushing pressure to resolve a conflict that had torn families apart and threatened to shatter the very fabric of the country he loved. Every casualty report, every letter from grieving families, every decision to send men into battle, chipped away at Lincoln's spirit, etching lines of worry and sorrow deeper into his face. He was a man racked by the dual burdens of leadership and empathy, his heart bleeding for every life lost. Yet, amid the turmoil, Lincoln remained resolute. He bore the burden with a fortitude born of his deep conviction in the ideals of liberty and unity. His strength in the face of adversity shaped the legacy we remember today. The Civil War, a dark chapter in American history, was a burden Lincoln bore with fortitude. Even as president, Lincoln's life was in constant danger. The shadow of assassination loomed over him from the moment he took office, painting a chilling picture of the perils he faced. Lincoln's presidency was marked by the American Civil War, a time of deep division and unparalleled animosity. This animosity wasn't just political, it was personal and deadly. Lincoln was aware of this, and so were his contemporaries. In fact, he once remarked, I long ago made up my mind that if anyone wants to kill me, they will do it. Before his fatal encounter with John Wilkes Booth in April 1865, there were several documented attempts on Lincoln's life. One of the earliest was in February 1861, en route to his inauguration. Alan Pinkerton, founder of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency, uncovered a plot to assassinate Lincoln during a stopover in Baltimore. The plot was foiled by changing Lincoln's travel plans, a move that was met with controversy but potentially saved his life. Another attempt occurred in August 1864. Late one night, Lincoln was riding unguarded from the soldier's home to the White House when a shot rang out, and his hat was found with a bullet hole. Lincoln downplayed the incident, attributing it to hunters, but others weren't so sure. These incidents underscore the constant threats that Lincoln lived under. His eventual assassination by Booth wasn't a random act of violence, it was the culmination of years of animosity, threats, and attempts on his life. The chilling attempts on Lincoln's life are a stark reminder of the dangers he faced. His courage in the face of such relentless threats speaks volumes about his character and dedication to the Union. It also sheds light on the darker aspects of his presidency, a period marked by personal danger, national strife, and the constant shadow of death. Abraham Lincoln's life was a tapestry interwoven with chilling and tragic events. From the early loss of his mother and siblings, the heartbreak of losing Anne Rutledge, his bouts with melancholy, to the failure of businesses and political defeats, Lincoln's journey was far from idyllic. As if these personal tragedies were not enough, he also bore the burden of his wife, Mary Todd's mental health issues, and the unimaginable pain of losing two of his sons. The weight of the Civil War, along with the constant threat to his life, added another layer of darkness to his existence. Yet, amidst these adversities, Lincoln stood tall, demonstrating an unshakable resolve that defined his leadership. His life, full of sorrow and strength, darkness and determination, serves as a poignant reminder of the human capacity to endure and triumph. Yet, despite the shadows that marred his life, Lincoln's legacy as a leader remains unblemished. In the face of adversity, Lincoln remained steadfast, a beacon of hope, in a tumultuous time. His story is a testament to the power of human resilience and determination. As we explore more such intriguing historical figures and their stories, we invite you to join us on this journey. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you not only support us, but you also ensure you never miss out on these fascinating tales from history. Remember, history isn't just about the past, it's a lens through which we can better understand our present and navigate our future. So let's continue to learn and grow together. Stay tuned for more and as always thank you for your support.